So in this episode, we're going to be talking about the remaining DLC on the DLC roadmap. Now, if there is any official spoilers coming up, I will obviously warn you with a little spoiler right here. It'll say spoiler like this. However, the majority of the DLCs that are remaining, I have guessed in previous videos, so it's not going to be a shocker to you at all. So with all that said, let's get started. Now, the first thing on this list is a new map. Now, like I said before, I think a great map to be incorporated into the Friday 13th game would be, well, Manhattan. Now, a great idea for a Manhattan map would be to block off a couple blocks in Manhattan and allow all the counselors to run around through Manhattan, going through different buildings and shit in order to gathering parts and go through drawers. Now, you should also be able to go up a couple of stories into the buildings and explore some of the rooms in there. Also, you should be able to go down into the subway, into an abandoned subway car, gathering shit to repair a taxi or an old cop car and get away. Now, as I said before, I think this would be a great way to add some variety to the game. And next up will be another new counselor. Now, as I said before, I'm really hoping it will be Mark from Friday the 13th Part 2. Yes, Mark was in a wheelchair, and yes, Gun Media stated wheelchair survivor. No, they didn't say maybe he'll walk. They literally state try to win the game in a wheelchair. Now, yes, this would address those same concerns as, well, how does Mark go in and out of some of the cabins? Well, he won't be able to unless you pick him up. It just won't happen. And if you go into a cabin as Mark, well, you better be prepared to not be able to use the windows and only escape out the front door. And again, maybe we could, you know, help him escape by taking him out of the wheelchair and throwing him in the back seat or, I don't know, attaching him to the back bumper and just leaving him his bait so we can get away. And next up will be a new Jason. Here's a spoiler. If you don't want to hear this, go ahead and keep fast forward until that spoiler sign disappears. So, as we already know, by completing Virtual Cabin 2.0, we're going to get one of two Jasons. However, as I said before, Jason X, or Uber Jason, I don't think will come out until the end. I think that's going to come out with a new map, which, as I said before, would come out with the spaceship. And both of those have been now confirmed in the Virtual Cabin 2.0 ending. However, there was another spoiler in the end of Virtual Cabin 2.0, and that is Jason as a child from the first Friday the 13th movie. Now, of course, this was in... Her imagination, and that wasn't the real Jason. However, they are going to incorporate that into the game. So with that said, I think this DLC right here will be Jason as a child from Friday the 13th Part 1. Now let's go ahead and end that little stupid spoiler logo right there and get back on to it. Next, we have the new game mode. And in case you're unaware of this, spoiler... This will be Paranoia Mode. For those of you that are unaware of Paranoia Mode, well, Paranoia Mode is how they're going to incorporate Roy from Friday the 13th Part 5. Yes, this is going to be like Deceit the Game. If you haven't played that, what basically happens is some people are survivors, some people are infected. And it tells you in the beginning of the game, nobody knows who is who, and you have to use your headset to communicate and manipulate people into killing other innocents. However, when the lights go out, well, then you become the villain and you can transform into creatures and go ahead and stalk them all of the innocent people. Now, of course, that's Deceit the Game, and I'm sure Paranoia Mode will be something similar to that. Maybe something will happen as the electricity will go out, and then you go around and kill, and nobody can see what's going on. So you kind of get away with that. And my favorite part about that, in case you don't watch this channel much, is, well, manipulation, because I love manipulating people into killing their own teammates. You can figure that shit out on the live stream or the Deceit game. You can go ahead and just click that link right there and watch that video. And of course, next up is single player challenges. Well, that's obviously going to be a mode for challenges in single player mode. Now, I'm sure it's going to be things like kill all seven counselors in a specific amount of time or do all these types of kills and so on and so forth. So I'm sure those of you that for some reason enjoy the single player mode, you'll enjoy this as well. I'm sure you're looking forward to that. Now, next up, we have new clothing. Now, I was hoping before that the new clothing would have been something for Christmas, giving us stupid little Friday the 13th sweaters or, you know, Santa Claus outfits or some cool shit like that. But obviously, we didn't get that. So a new clothing pack, I'm not really sure what that's going to be. I really don't even have any thoughts on it because I think there's such a great variety right now. And they missed a great opportunity with the Christmas clothing pack that, I mean, I guess they could do a spring break pack, but they technically already did spring break. And last on this list is the new Jason and the new Matt. Now, as I said, before we put the spoiler warning up, I have guessed this for months now. So it's not really a spoiler. But if you don't want official confirmation on this, then see that spoiler sign again. Just go ahead and keep fast forward until you get past that. Now, as we know from completing Virtual Cabin 2.0, it confirmed all my theories that it would be Uber Jason from Jason 10 or Jason X. 
along with the spaceship. Now, everybody's kind of concerned about this, going, well, how do we shift and shit in the spaceship? Well, the same way you would anywhere else. For those of you that want to know, how are you going to teleport? Well, I'm sure it would be the same as anything else. You'll have a map and you'll pick places and you'll pop up right there. The same way as you would in anywhere else. It's not like he flies over there or something. He just kind of does a quick shift that nobody sees. So I'm sure all that will work out fine. And as I said before, I think this is a great fucking idea because, again, this is not just variety, but it will incorporate a, you know, that cheesy looking Jason, but it'll give us that cheesy looking map to put Jason in it. And I think that's a really badass fucking idea. Of course, when you take Uber Jason into a normal map like Crystal Lake, it's going to seem pretty fucking awkward. But I think another cool way they could have done this was to give us the regular Jason in Jason X and then let him turn into Uber Jason when he was in rage mode. I think that would be a really badass idea. Now, one other quick thing about these two DLCs. I also think that they should not incorporate Tommy Jarvis into, well, the spaceship map because that just seems kind of dumb to me. I mean, where the hell is he going to come from? You're going to CB radio somebody from like 100 years from now? You think they're still going to have CB radios? I fucking highly doubt it. So a cool way of doing this would be to, well, you go to a computer instead of a CB radio and you can contact the Android. And, well, the Android will show up with her fucking Uzis and just splatter that son of a bitch all over the place. Or maybe have somebody come back as Sergeant Brodsky and then everybody has to get into the escape pod and at the end you have to lock him in that chamber and those two have to go head to head in order to create an ending which would explode the entire ship and everybody gets away. That might be a little cool dramatic ending to killing Jason on the spaceship as well. Now for the spaceship map, there will be new environmental kills. And as mentioned in their Kickstarter, some of these were mentioned. And one of the new environmental kills will be sucked out. Now sucked out will give you the ability to get the counselor sucked out in the space through a grate. Which, well, can get pretty damn brutal. One of the other kills will be a liquid nitrogen face smash kill. Obviously, that's exactly what it sounds like. You freeze their face with liquid nitrogen, smash them down, and their face gets shattered. Now, if these two environmental kills aren't introduced right away, I'm sure they will be at some point because, like I said, these were part of the environmental kills that were supposed to be introduced with the spaceship map. Now that we've discussed all the DLCs on the DLC roadmap, I'm sure everybody's wondering, where the hell does that road lead to on the DLC map? Well, more than likely, it's leading to another roadmap. Of course, another roadmap probably won't come into play until July or August of 2018 because these remaining DLCs will probably be spread out between now and June or July. And of course, it's going to be a pretty big variable if there's enough people playing Friday the 13th still in five to six months and if they're still profiting enough to where it makes sense for them to continue releasing all this free content. But let me know down in the comment section below which one of these DLCs are you most looking forward to and how do you think we should be able to kill Jason on the spaceship from Jason 10? Also, don't forget, we have a contest going on right now. We're giving away copies of Last Year the Game. If you don't know what Last Year the Game is, click that fucking link right there. Just click it, and it'll explain everything to you. Of course, that game will come out sometime in 2018, and that's when the contest will end. Also, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, because if you don't, you won't be notified of TKS content such as this. Also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all that other great shit. And as always, I'll see you next time. I think we need to go on a road trip.